the pain Violetta Antolich suffered is still visible on her face. This week, she revisited the camp where she was imprisoned with fellow Croats in the early 90s, the place where untold numbers were killed. Antolich says she and many others were beaten by Serb forces. Here, at this place, there was a lot of torturing going on, both males and females. Some of the people were killed instantly, and some were cut up. I saw that with my own eyes. People cut in pieces. She'd been a soldier when Serbs overran the town of Vukovar in 1991, but she and her young son were among many who ended up seeking shelter at the local hospital. Hundreds were hauled away from there. Some ended up getting taken to a pig farm where they were shot and dumped into a mass grave. Antolic was separated from her son and brought to an industrial warehouse compound where Croats were held as prisoners and where she was lucky to survive. The man accused of masterminding the torture and killings in the Serb-controlled breakaway region of Croatia is now in custody, and he's being prosecuted on war crimes charges. Goran Hadjic paid a visit to his ailing mother before being flown out of Serbia, where he'd been arrested Wednesday. The country's justice minister, Snežana Malović, signed the extradition order, handing him to The Hague. With this act, we have finished the most difficult chapter in our cooperation with the Hague Tribunal and have fulfilled our obligations. In Vukovar Friday, veterans visiting the cemetery and memorial to those who lost their lives in the conflict welcomed developments. But one noted prosecution of Hadjic still won't bring the dead back to life. Karen Sloan, The Associated Press.